Triple your traffic in a year. That is a big claim. It's a big target, but at Explosion Ninja, we've done it quite a lot of times, actually. We did it here. We did it here. We did it here. We did it here. And we also did it using this. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to triple your traffic in a year, all through Exposure Ninja client websites where we've done exactly that. Then I'm going to give you the one commonality between every business where they triple their traffic in a year. And then I'm going to end with a slightly sinister warning about something that might be happening this year, which could knock you off track if you're not prepared. Let's go. All right, starting at the beginning, because that's usually a good place to start. There are basically two ways that you can triple your traffic. Firstly, you can increase the amount of traffic that you're getting from your existing traffic sources. If you're ranking well on Google, rank better. If you're running ads, run more ads or increase your budget, that type of thing. The second way to do it is to increase the number of traffic sources that you're using. So we're talking to a client at the moment that wants to generate 50,000 new paid signups for their service in the next six months. There's just not enough traffic in the channels that they're already using. So they're going to have to supplement those with additional traffic channels. Well, sometimes you might need to do both of these things. You might need to increase the amount of traffic you're getting from your existing traffic channels, and you might need to add new traffic channels to your mix. But let's start off by looking at some examples of websites that have tripled their traffic in a year without adding any new traffic channels, just simply turning up their existing ones. Here's an example of a client's website. They're in the health space and they wanted to increase the number of leads that their website generates for a physical location that their practice was based in. So what we did is increase their organic traffic. Now we increased it from 8,800 visits per year, which is virtually nothing, right? They're ranking for their branded terms, but that was about it. And we took it to 106,000 in a year. Okay, I'm just hearing that this is slightly more than tripling. So how did we do this? Well, to be perfectly honest, this website was starting from a pretty low base. It didn't have particularly great content and it really wasn't ranking very much. So first up, we tuned up the technical SEO on the website. Then we started adding more content to it. We did this in three main areas. Firstly, on the service pages, we beefed these pages up to include more information about the services that they offer. And that helped increase their visibility for commercial terms, i.e. people searching for the services that they offer. The next thing that we started doing is blogging for them. They really weren't doing this. So we started started to research the sorts of topics that their potential customers might be asking about, trending topics, things that were going on in the media that were relevant to this business. And we started publishing that content on the site. The third type of content we added was a massive knowledge base. What we did was we took the topic that they're an expert in, broke it into subtopics, and then wrote detailed articles about each of those subtopics. Now, if you've got a keen eye, you may have noticed that actually some of their metrics went down in this case. For example, if we look over here at the conversion rate, you'll notice their conversion rate slipped from 3.15%, which is pretty good, to 0.74%. Now this means that the percentage of people who land on their website from organic traffic, who actually turn into a lead, dropped. This is bad, right? Well, yes and no. The reality is that if you're not ranking for very much other than your brand name, you're gonna have a really high conversion rate because the only people landing on your website are looking for you. As soon as you start adding blogs and knowledge base information on your site, you're going to start ranking for a much broader range of topics. And this is going to mean that you're getting some informational search traffic coming onto your site as well. These are people that maybe aren't ready to buy yet. And that's why that conversion rate went down. Their total number of organic conversions still increased by 2.6x. So they did pretty well from this. But remember, just because you're increasing your traffic doesn't always mean that you'll increase your leads proportionally. Now, of course, we didn't just publish content on the site. We also went super hard with link building, particularly with digital PR. We piggybacked on lots of different topics that were trending in the news, and we made sure that we had content on the site about those topics, knowing that people would be looking for them. To get this sort of result, though, is a huge amount of work. Well, for the team at Exposure Ninja, the client just paid their invoice. Although to be fair, that is an important contribution. But just to be totally clear, this sort of result is not gonna happen without a significant amount of effort. Okay, let's look at another example. In this case, traffic actually increased 4X in a year from 150K to over 620K. Now again, this was primarily driven by organic search traffic, which increased by more than 4X. Now I should say this client was no stranger to SEO. In fact, we'd already been working with them for three years. We'd helped them grow from basically no traffic at all to significantly more than no traffic. But we found some clever ways to increase that even further. Now this client is in beauty and aesthetics. And one day we were just browsing TikTok for work honestly. And we noticed that a topic was trending. In this case, something called baby, 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 baby,
So we put a bunch of content on the client's site about this baby Botox thing. Then when all these baby Botoxing tick McTokers headed over to Google to look for this thing, guess who they found? And of course, that's not all we did. We did what the content marketing ninja working on the campaign called an information content blast and packed this site full of so much authoritative, informative content, it started ranking all over the place. Then we brought out the digital PR bazooka and blew a hole in the side of the internet, getting a ton of links, which helped rankings across the board. There's no point just ranking and getting traffic though, you need conversions. So what we did with all of this content is we added tailored calls to action on each page that matched the intent of the visitor generating leads for our client. And this led to a year on year increase of conversions of just shy of 4x. And by the way, if you want to see what strategies we'd recommend for your particular website, then we have a free service called the Exposure Ninja free website and marketing review. You can go to exposureninja.com forward slash review to apply. And if you're eligible, we'll record you a 15 minute video that shows you exactly what to do on your website to get these sorts of results over the next 12 months. This service is completely free of charge. So head over to ExposureNinja.com forward slash review to request your free website and marketing review today. Okay, that's how to increase traffic from one particular traffic channel. But what about adding new traffic channels? Let's look at some more examples. This client here had done bits and bobs of digital marketing before. They'd done a bit of SEO, maybe tested some ads, but they never really consistently run search ads before. When we did some analysis of their market through the free website and marketing review that you can get at ExposureNinja.com forward slash review, we we spotted some incredible opportunities to grab market share using a paid search. The downside is that they were going to need to make a significant investment in their ads in order to grab this opportunity, but they did and the results have been ridiculous. Now even though it's early days and we're still in the first six months of the campaign, we can see clearly that we're going to more than triple the amount of traffic this website gets in its first year with us, primarily through paid search. Yeah, great Tim, but you're tripling the traffic by just paying for every click. How's that impressive? All right. Well, here's the thing. This traffic is super, super qualified and well targeted. Look, we're getting a 30% conversion rate on paid traffic. Now their average order value is just under $10,000. So this is printing money. One traffic channel that lots of people neglect is email marketing traffic. The great thing about email traffic is once you've set up your email campaigns, you don't need to do any work. They run on autopilot and you don't have to pay for each click. Now for one of our furniture e-commerce clients, we built what's called an indoctrination sequence. This was a five step sequence which helped a new email subscriber get to know the brand, understand why this brand charged premium prices and go through to make a purchase. This email campaign was a one time setup and whilst on its own it hasn't tripled traffic, it did earn ROI for itself within the first 30 days and within the first six months of this thing going live, every one pound that the client paid us, they got 16 pounds back in sales just from this campaign. But think about it, that campaign was set up one time. That campaign will pay off for years, maybe five years. So that ROI is only going to increase. Now what you'll also find is that the more traffic channels you're playing with, the more your direct traffic is going to increase as well. So for example, if you start posting more on social media or you're running more ads or you're doing more SEO or you start making videos, all of this is gonna turn into people typing your URL directly into their browser. But by the way, if you're thinking of using SEO to scale your traffic this year, good idea, but I do also have a pretty bold warning for you at the end of this video, which you're gonna to wanna to see, so stay tuned. Here's yet another example from one of our clients. Now this client has an incredibly seasonal business, hence the big jump in the middle of the year. But as we've worked with them on their digital marketing across a whole bunch of different traffic channels, look what's happened to their direct traffic year on year. That's also jumped as a result of all of this other activity. You just get that uplift as a sort of second order consequence. Okay, so what if you wanna do this for your business? What are the main learnings you can take from all of this. Firstly, every business that we've looked at goes hard on this stuff. I hate to be boring, but you don't triple your traffic in a year by just keeping on doing what you're already doing or pressing this one magic button. 
To scale your results, you need to scale your effort and maybe even scale the marketing spend as well. You're gonna need to bring a new level of energy and quite possibly budget to your digital marketing efforts to do this. But when you do that in a sensible way, the payoff can be enormous. For the majority of the businesses that we've looked at today, digital marketing is their only source of custom. So when you see increasing leads by 2.6x, there's a corresponding increase in their revenue, which is significant and way outpaces the incremental increase in their digital marketing spend to achieve that. But please be honest with yourself about this. If you've been set these sorts of targets or you're setting them for yourselves, us optimistic folk can sometimes persuade ourselves that yeah, we're gonna get these results because things will just generally be better. The reality is if you wanna triple your traffic, you're gonna probably have to at least triple your output in order to do that. Now we Exposure Ninja can help you with this if you need, or you can get help from elsewhere, that's fine too. But if you wanna get a different outcome, you have to do something different. By the way, you can start by requesting your free website and marketing review from ExposureNinja.com forward slash review. Remember, you have to be eligible for this. If you go through the form, it'll tell you whether or not you're eligible and give you some free training if you're not eligible. But if you are eligible, then one of the team will record you a 15 to 20 minute video, which they'll send to you personally, usually within three to five working days, showing you how to increase the volume of leads and sales that your website is generating for you. Now, before we go, I do have a pretty serious warning for you about what's happening in the world of SEO. This year, we're expecting Google's new AI search engine to be pretty disruptive to organic traffic. And by pretty disruptive, I mean this thing is a tsunami of lava heading towards the sun lounges of unprepared website owners. Some estimates of the impact of this new AI search engine show a traffic drop of between 18 and 64%. In the words of the residents of Pompeii, sad times. So if you're planning to use organic search SEO as one of the ways that you triple your traffic this year, you need to be prepared for this new AI search engine called SGE. Luckily for you, we are the first people in the world to share an exact playbook that you can copy to get ranking in this brand new search engine. We've figured it out. We know how to get your website ranking. And if you follow that playbook, you can actually increase your traffic from SGE. But you can watch this video to learn how to do it. And the link in the description in that video gives you a checklist that you can download to get your website ranking in SGE. So go forth and triple. See you next time.